Well, for this weekend's weather, impactful for sure, especially Sunday. Wet and windy weather is ahead. Sunday is a first alert weather day. Let's take a look at your forecasting. The rain chances go up Saturday night, really the evening into Sunday, clearing out as we head into next week. Let's look at your rain chances over the weekend. Starting off here Saturday afternoon, maybe a couple little showers near the coast, but it's really as we go into the nighttime, this rain expands across the area, comes into our southern areas first, like Waycross and Jessup, and then work it, working its way there up I-95 into really the rest of the coastal empire in the low country, even before Sunday sunrise on our Sunday. Look at the low that's going to be near the coast. That's going to bring in windy, breezy, wet conditions for everybody on our Sunday. Maybe a little less rain as we go into our Sunday night, but that wind's still going to be around drying out though going into Monday. So looking at your impacts, heavy rain two to four inches as we go through the weekend that could create a flooding threat. We watching those high tides closely 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts could have slightly higher gust right along the coast right now. The overall severe threat is low. But this is still an impactful system that will be moving through the area. Let's look at the wind Saturday night, not too breezy, but watch what happens overnight then into Sunday morning, starting this here and stopping it Sunday during the daytime. Look at this. We could have wind gusts widespread over 30 miles an hour, over 40 for Hilton Head, Tybee, anywhere along the immediate coastline where you have that unexposed beach that just brings in the wind. Future wind gusts could still be 20 to 30 miles an hour after sunset on Sunday. Right now, radar is not picking up that low just yet here, but it's going to move into Florida here as we go into tomorrow, working its way toward our area. Then, of course, on Sunday already seeing wind gusts over 20 miles an hour for Savannah Hilton Head Tybee and St. Simons this morning, bringing in a wind chill feeling like 35 for Beaufort for Savannah feels like 29 right now in Swainsboro. So you still need the jacket as you head out the door this morning, but it's all clear. Beautiful sunrise for us this morning. Just make sure your students are dressed for the weather as we head through this afternoon. Could get away with shorts with lower 60s, mostly sunny skies, but increasing clouds going into tonight again. Tonight is going to be the night to get those weekend plans in. As we go into Saturday, late Saturday, the rain builds in as well. So not the best weekend for outdoor plans. Want to secure those Christmas decorations outside. Make sure you're taking care of your boats as well. It's going to be windy on Sunday. Drier, cooler, though, as we head into next week. And we've got more in the WTOC weather app.